Hey YouTube, um, this is the only, the one and only Josh Parrish. Um, today I just gone to the shop and bought the um, Starship Official Starship Collection issue five, the uh, Romulan Warbird that I was talking about in the uh, other video about all of my other Star Trek um, toys and stuff. So we're gonna have a little review of it. So I might as well put the magazine out of the way. We can have a look back in a minute. And look at the actual ship of the Romulan Warbird. He yeah, has very good detail. I love the way it's been painted. And it just has a. You might not see it because it has these like white things here. It's quite good detail. And it's a not very good stand. Because look, it's just about to fall off. It's not a very reliable stand. Hang on a second. Put it on wrong. That's better. There. Oh no. Yeah, if you get one of these, you have to be really delicate because this one is a fucking nonsense. Got this one. Right. There are a few problems. Yeah, of course, the stand as well. Yeah, you see? The stand. Hope I haven't broken it already. Um, it's just, these are not toys, these are just models. These are not meant to be moved or played with. Of course, yeah. Yeah, so, I like the detail to stand. It's very good. Anyway, that's the uh, ship of it. Now let's get to the magazine. I'm not going to spoil it for you a lot, so I might as well just show, show this bit, the specification. Romulan Star Empire, Terex, 1,315 metres, that's quite bloody long. Warp 9.6, phase disruptor cannons, and photon torpedo launchers. Yeah. So I'm not really going to spoil it for you lot, if you want to go and get it for your nickel new agent. So it's so the stamps assembly. But one I'm going to show you, it says in the back, the next one in two more weeks, the uh, US is Voyager. So I'm hoping to get excited to, to do about that one. And yeah, that's about it for the um, Romulo Warbird. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Hope you see you in the next video. Bye.